Hi, yo, what's up? So a lot of people know me as, um, oh, I don't know, a bit of a whale. Now, I don't know if the dollar amount in the title is correct or not. I believe we're probably getting close to that. I'm gonna make a video revealing my Google Play history soon-ish, but it's a little bit complicated, so just give me a little bit longer. But we have been playing this game for six months, and I have pretty much been at the forefront of this flagship game for quite some time. We did have some competition, but as many as they rose up, as many of them fallen down during these times of rage and discontent. But if there was one constant thing in Genshin Impact, Amber is always dog <laughs> Might have had to bleep that for so under the minute. And this face right here. So, I'm playing this game every day for six months. Have nearly spent half $100,000. Okay, what is that? Like a 20th of a million dollars? That's a lot of money, okay? We almost had $50,000 on this game. But the question is, is what does that really look like inside of Genshin Impact? We're going to show everything where I'm at and how for some reason, even though I play this game every single day, even though I've spent thousands of dollars, I still have content to do every single time I get on because the way that I play is the way that everybody else should be playing and the way that I've been advocating for since my very first Genshin Impact video. Yes, the Genshin Impact Beginner Guide. Okay, been saying this since day one and that's why all these boys bitching while your boy remain on top where I do. You know what? I'm gonna stop gloating. Let's get into the video, shall we? Haha, <laughs> AR check. AR 56. I believe there is only maybe one or two people in the world who are AR 57. So is what it is. AR 56, a very respectable rank, especially for somebody who like me, I could play it way more hardcore. But let me tell you, I take tons of days off. You wanna know why? Because when I get bored or I don't wanna play Genshin Impact, I don't play Genshin Impact. Okay, and you can definitely see that holds true. If you check the link in the description, twitch.tv forward slash techtone, I'm out there playing Mario Kart, Monster Honey, or, you know, all the Dark Souls, any of those games. It's that way people say, oh, Techtone, you just spend a lot of money because you're shit. And then I clap Monster Hunter. And then I clap Dark Souls. And then I clap the hardest games in the world. I beat, I beat getting over it in 30 minutes after never playing before in my entire life. Yeah, but. All right, moving on with <laughs> the showcase. We got a lot of units. We do, in fact, have every single unit in the entire game. Now, my goal for this account, after six months of spending a lot of money, you would assume that I have every character built. No. I still have many characters. Well, let me phrase that. I still have one character who isn't even at, uh, I guess, level 21, which is kind of yikes. But the goal for my account is actually to get every single character in the game at least the level 70. My current projects are Amber, Lisa, and uh, Razor. Oh, and also it's Shang. That's been something that keeps me busy every single day, but I want to show you what my stats are kind of looking like. Okay, First off, yeah, I also don't have every weapon in the game max refined, which is pretty damn disgusting considering that I could have bought, uh, if math serves me, a hundred fucking PS5s, uh, which, you know, is pretty damn nice. We got Skyward Harp, refined three, and yes, this weapon absolutely fucking slaps. My attributes, this is my this is my flagship character. This is my favorite character. I love this character so much. He is the character that I put the most time and effort into. My talents, seven, 13. I maxed this shit, boy. I maxed it. And 11 on my obliteration. Constellation, max, bro, max. And we're also gonna, I'm gonna show you this real quick. This is my constellation check for the entire account. Max, 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 max. Just got that one, max, 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 max. C5, coming back to that later. Max, 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 max. C4, max, 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 max. Yes, also, if your dog or your son's name is Max, they're probably going to be very confused why this a fat white man is talking to them in the video. So, yeah, I have every single character in the entire game, Max Constellation, 
except for fucking Aya and Amber. The fuck? How could that possibly be possible? That's because you really don't get that many Amber or Kaya dupes uh, unless you roll on the standard banner. And if you're rolling on the standard banner, you probably play Genshin Impact using a safety helmet. That way you don't fucking hurt yourself <laughs> when you play the fucking game. Yeah. Uh, that's just another glaring issue with Amber is that like she's the worst and you literally can't get her constellations regardless. It's awful, dude. And, and the, uh, I mean, there's probably a reason why Amber or Kaya have never been in the raid up if my memory serves me. I don't think Lisa has either, but yeah. They just don't put him on the banner. It's kind of, yeah, he's got a shit on shit on shit on shit. And also, thank God they didn't put Amber on there, but Kai is actually pretty damn good. I mean, I mean so is Lisa, dude. Kai is pretty fucking good. All right, let's look at all these builds, okay? Tartalia, 62% crit damage, or sorry, 62% crit rate, 175% crit damage, and I have him stat aligned to work with my Hu Tao. Uh, to go with the one to two golden ratio, which means 1% crit rate to 2% crit damage. Uh, his crit rate will go up 80 or 24%, which will bring me up to 86%. So 86 times two is about probably like 172%. So it's pretty damn close to being accurate with Hutao's pass because I use Tartalia. Then I also use Hutao with my Tartalia. And that team is fucking disgusting. Uh, things to note, dude, literally run him on hard of depth. It ain't that complicated. You put hard of depth on him and he's amazing at every single constellation. Then with Hutao, I will show off my stats, my artifacts, all that shit. The reason why I run low crit rate is because I run um, C6 Constellation on Hutao. And whenever I get low, I get 100% crit rate. So there's no reason for me to run crit rate because then I just get all of it for free. And my artifacts literally run Crimson Witch. It's that easy, okay? The Luke, I geared him up out of spite. I actually don't use this character. The thing I learned about the Luke is that he's actually crazy boring. I don't like this character. He is so goddamn boring comparatively to other five stars. And that's something that I noticed. Dude, some of the old five stars, man, they just feel so obsolete. They really do, man. Like some, oh, dude, like, dude, Chi Chi is so boring. It's disgusting. Mona is so boring. Like, oh, God. I mean, the, the power creep for the kits may have only happened once with Ganyu to Amber, but Jesus Christ, the power creep on fun is outrageous, which, to be honest, I'm okay with it. That's how they want to power creep the game. And, Zhao might be the most boring, or sorry, like one of my least favorite characters in the entire game after playing with him for years. And yes, you can see how much I don't give a fuck about him anymore. But at least he has one of the most quote unquote fun kits comparatively to other characters. Zhang Li, I said this once, I'll say it again, bro. This dude never needed a buff ever. Dude, my kit on him is... My, my artifacts are all fucked up right now because I do wacky builds on my Twitch. Once again, link in the description. If you want to come check it out, the weird shit I do on stream, it's fucking weird, bro. I get I get real crafty trying to make content for this fucking game. Dude, Zhang Li never needed the buff. He never needed the buff, and I'm glad that post-buff, the majority of people agree. Speaking of which, uh, mods, real quick. Paul, do you think Zhang Li needed the buff or no? Uh, I'll tell you all the percentage whenever that's done. Zhang Li, I, I literally cannot use him anymore. That's where I'm at. My Zhang Li is too fucking strong to where it takes all difficulty out of the game. I don't get hit. I don't get staggered. Nothing fucking moves. And everything in the entire game is a target dummy. I still, to this day, don't know how people have their heads so far up their ass that they still think that that fucking buff was needed. And even still, welcome to the power creep meta. Hope you're enjoying Hu Tao and Ganyu. I mean, Jesus Christ. So 81%, and I'll pull this up right here. 81% of people, 80% still say, no, it was not needed. And this is very common knowledge. And I'm glad that the majority of the community is on my side, but don't worry, you can get into your groups, you can get into your clicks, and we can pretend that the buff was needed. It fucking wasn't. He was way more fun and interactive before the buff, but now he's just fucking broken and he kills everything, which, you know, hey, it is what it is. Maybe mobile players needed it for somebody. I don't care. Hey, hey dude, who knows? Maybe fucking Dendro's gonna come out. He's gonna break the entire goddamn game. Next, we got Bennett. Bennett's fucking broken, dude. You got a good Bennett, you beat everything. Okay, my Bennett is fucking crazy. Yeah, R5 Skyward Blade. Lest we forget, R5 Staff of Homa. Yeah, that's worth $2,000. $2,000 of my account went 
to Staff of Oma. And this is when I learned, if you are rolling on a weapon banner, you better be a fucking whale or you better be going for a fucking four star. Not just one of the four stars, three out of the five four stars on the weapon. Okay, probably, probably more than 2K, to be honest. Okay, that shit was yikes. Zell really didn't like him. Did not like him at all. He feels very clunky. His kit feels confused. It feels uh, muddled and cluttered. He does too much shit and, and, and it doesn't self-synergize. The fact that his alt can't charge while you're using it feels gross. He has way too much downtime that I feel like is against design because you have perfect downtime in the form of Hu Tao because it's on his skill. But then you have alt cooldown, which is Zhao, which means you have time where you use your alt and then you have to charge your alt and it just feels horrible because the down guy gets more downtime and there, there should have never, you, you should be able to charge your alt while you're in your alt. You should. It would not really be that broken at all because then you would still have to swap out to the characters because you can't just Zhao one do everything if your characters aren't that overpowered. And if your characters are overpowered anyways, then your game state doesn't fucking matter because you're going to kill everything in one time. Okay, I'm not saying he needs a buff. I'm just saying the, the, the kit feels fucking confusing. Zhao could use a slight tweak in kit, but I don't think a buff to his numbers is going to do anything. Uh, real quick, now, Beto is a character who could use a buff. Now, Beto is, once again, one of my favorite characters in the entire game. But I'm going to say this right now, Mahoyo. Why in the fuck is her energy cost 80? This should be 50 or 60 max. I don't get it. There are so many characters who have an ability exactly like Beto, but for some reason hers needs to be 80. I I don't get it. Can I get a fucking true in chat? I don't get why her alt takes so much energy, dude. I have to run her on a energy on a, on a energy recharge sand and then i also have to run her on a energy recharge weapon and i have to build this i'm still going to run sacrificial sword and it's still not enough energy recharge man <laughs> dude it's impossible to build like a good perma alt set on her because her energy cost is just too fucking high this character's broken <laughs> i mean dude literally if you got this one congratulations the game uh, everything explodes everything explodes you beat everything in one hit congratulations ganyu is the product of lazy design and a community that bitched about a character that was already good and now the company was backed into a corner. So now they just make characters way more overpowered than they should because they don't want to disappoint the outspoken fans. It is, it's just the worst, dude. Ganyu. And the worst thing is they're still dumb fucks. Real quick. Paul. Paul. Okay? Because people need to know this. Paul. Hey, chat. Of, of 5,000 people who are here. Chat. How many of y'all think that Ganyu is a great support? Paul, please. It drives me nuts how people think Ganyu is a one-trick pony. She is a broken DPS, and she's a broken sub-DPS, a.k.a. a support. Yes, a sub-DPS is also a support because they're supporting the main character with damage and also giving the main character the time they need for their cooldowns to come back up. I don't know why people don't think Ganyu is a support. Have you not tried it? Bro, she has a taunt. She has CC and tons of fucking damage that's up all the time, which is amazing to use in combination with burst DPS characters. I don't know how many times I need to say this. Right here, Ganyu, a great support. 95% of people agree. I don't know what y'all think. And let me make sure you know I'm not, I'm not fooling you here. Literally, 4,625 people are here right now i don't know why if you haven't tried gone you as a support yet but she's literally fucking crazy i don't know if it's a troll or not at this point but if you have not tried gone you as a support sub dps please give it a shot it's fucking crazy dude you drop your taunts with your e you drop in your juju Kai, jujutsu kaisen domain expansion nothing will move everything fucking dies it's crazy please Give support Ganyu a chance. It's fucking nuts. Uh, Albedo. <laughs> this is one of the best fucking characters in the game. Well, not really. He's like eight tier, five star. He's an amazing character, but you have one thing about this character. And even though he's so, 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 so good, I'm not going to fucking use him ever again. I can't. I'm can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because the E, dude, the E, the elevator, that's got to be the worst product of game design I've ever seen. It 
it sucks. All the E does is interrupt the natural flow of gameplay because you'll just walk over it and you'll just start going up. And if you swing, you can't fall off. It'll lock you on top of this fucking elevator and you just can't fucking move. Dude, I, I wish they would just take the elevator away or, or, or even do this. When you walk over it, you just get bursted into the air. You, you jump up in the air and then you can charge slam back down, right? You, you do the little elevator, it's a, it's a gust of earth, it pops you up and you slam back down. I, I don't get it, he's such a good character. But every single time I step on the fucking elevator, I want to scream. Venti's fucking broken. Okay, Venti, dude, I've done I've done so many runs with Venti where I don't even use artifacts. I won't even use a weapon, and he's still so fucking crazy. Chi Chi is terrible. You don't need heals where I'm at in the game. You don't. She's so bad. Very unfortunate. This product will most likely never be fixed unless they um, make a weapon to uh, balance her, make like a five star weapon that does like. For every overhealing you do, you get a shield that increases your damage by the percentage of which you overhealed. So if you healed your character back to full three times and your damage is increased by 300%. Um, I don't know what to do with Chi-Chi. Leave it to Mahoyo to balance things by releasing an overpowered weapon and pay gaining it like they've done many, many, many times before. But I'm gonna say this right now, I don't plan on rolling on another weapon banner. I don't. That is something that you will learn with time, okay? Weapon banners are a fucking scam and you should not be rolling on them until they change the system. And it fucking blows. Well, I mean, I might because I'm disgusting and I'm bored and I need content in this fucking drought. God forbid I make another top 10 lake video. But Jesus Christ, whatever, moving on. Mona is another character that I love outside of the game. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but in the game, but in the game, uh, the problem is, is that this entire fucking character, I hate it because her dash is so ugly. She has the ugliest dash in the entire game. And let me showcase this for anybody who hasn't seen this. Dude, this shit in practicality is the worst thing ever. It's great for traversing the field, but in combat, bro, this shit sucks. And like, listen, listen, you can't even turn correctly. Like you have to do loops for the turns. You can't do tight turns. It's it's the worst, dude. And you can still get hit while you're down there. I don't know, like the dash alone, it feels clunky, it feels weird. Sometimes I'll just get stuck dashing when I don't even want to. And I've seen many people uh, see this shit. I wish that dash was a toggle. It's so ugly, I hate it. And if there's any future characters that also have to deal with that fucking dash, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ, they better be broken to deal with that bullshit-ass mechanic. I fucking hate it. Uh, yeah, moving forward. Um, Clay's fun, but she's been very clunky, but she's very good. I love her to bits, but she's a little bit harder to play than uh, is worth now for hardcore players. I definitely recommend Clay. Um, she's one of the most high school cap characters in the entire game. She has many uh, alts or auto cancellations, all that shit to increase DPS. It's very good, but where I'm at, I'm a lazy fucking whale, and I don't feel like doing that for now but she's amazing. And if you put in the time, uh, I mean, she can do some of the highest damage in the entire game. Ning Wong is great, but the thing that really pissed me off about Ning Wong is that I realized Ning Wong has been fundamentally broken since the launch of the game. They didn't fix her until 1.4, yes. 24 weeks after the start of the game. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? It, it truly boggles the mind. Uh, I don't get that. Kaya, amazing, very underrated. You should try it. Uh, I run him on uh, the Jade Cutter show, uh, the Jade Cutter uh, weapon, and then I also run four piece on Blizzard Trayer. You'd be tricked by my artifacts because my account's really fucked up, but I run on four piece Blizzard Trayer. He's amazing. Fish, amazing. I use it for many of my teams. Xing Cho, amazing. Uh, you can use him in many of my teams. Now, this is the thing that I really want to drive home for this video. I might be talking a bit fast because I have a long video and I'm really trying to get through it without making the video too long. Um, even though five stars are fucking crazy, uh, thankfully, Mahoyo did a great job with some four stars. Sorry, Amber. Uh, for their game design. Uh, because what the four stars do is that if you are a free-to-play player, a lot of your four stars can be top-tier DPS. But... If you're a whale and you play, and you pay a lot and you play a lot and you build them, um, your four stars can become S tier supports and sub DPS like Xingqiu, 
Ching Cho is probably the best support in the game. Um, and I use that term a lot, but just consider he's, he's one of the best. He's amazing, and I really like that because they have different roles depending on how much love and time and constellation you can get, which is unfortunately pay gated, but they did a really good job with a lot of sports. I think Kai is amazing. I think Ning Wong's amazing. I think Fish is amazing. Uh, Xing Cho is amazing. Zhang Ling's amazing. Uh, Sucrose is broken. Dion is amazing. Chong Yun's good. Elise is great. Razor's great. Uh, I don't like the rest. But it's good that even though I've spent $50,000 on this game, I don't just use all five star teams which feels really good because I was worried that a lot of these characters become obsolete and they don't. Uh, but yeah, uh, MC, what a joke, what a shit fucking character. Jean might be really good, but I find her fucking boring, so I don't use her. <laughs> Sucrose is ridiculous, but playing her is too, ugh, it's too tedious, it's too, it's just boring, dude. You, you fucking do big elemental stacks and then you kill something in one hit and wowie zowie, you can do unrealistic builds and kill things in one hit. I don't fucking care to do it, don't care. Diona's really dope, but she looks really weird because she's a fucking cat. And I, when I, when I, when I stream at twitch.tv forward slash techtone, me using Diona attracts the wrong people, so I try to avoid using her at all costs. Uh, next up, Chong Yun, good, but makes combat a little muddled sometimes. But this boy fucks hard, dude. Dude, main DPS Chong Yun that I really, really, really want to try. Amber, why the fuck is this character not fixed, dude? Why the fuck is this character not fixed? Noel, good fucking joke, never using her. Lisa. Uh, is lucky that she moans every single time she jumps up a cliff. Amazing. Gonna build her soon. Good Ching. <laughs> Problem is, is that... <laughs> Yo, Good Ching mains are really weird. You know what's that? Good Ching mains? Kind of weird. And I don't know if I want to be uh, entering that click yet, but Good Ching mains? Ooh, kind of a little bit of a sweater, so I'm kind of avoiding uh, Good Ching like the plague or the corona virus if you will razor dope but he's boring as shit to my viewers so i can't build him barbara because her kit is a literally dog shit and she's for free to play players only zinyan because i can't get over your english dub so i ain't gonna build her so the other thing with being a whale and for playing this long is tectone how the fuck do you still have some of the things in the game uncompleted okay i'm gonna go around and show you this shit real quick just just to give you a little bit of a, a common example of what people are talking about, okay? We're gonna go right here, and I'm gonna walk up to this tree right here, okay? I'm gonna slap the old up button. We need two more to max out this tree. We literally have not maxed out this tree. But if you'll notice, but if you'll notice, I have many quests. Now, this is a thing that I've been doing since the dawn of video games. Skyrim, y'all know Skyrim. It's been remade about a million times. I've done every single side quest. I've heard every single piece of dialogue. I've collected every single item, every single mask in the entire game. I have never beaten Alduin. And that's because of a very specific way that I play my video games. The game will never run out of content if I don't play the game. The game will never be over if I don't play the game. So when I start progressing a little bit too quickly, I say, hold up. What if I just jump around on Mondstadt's roofs for like an hour uh, and not play the game? Or what if I go play Mario Kart? I've been advocating for this since day one. Some of y'all, okay, ready for this? You need to slow the fuck down. You're going too fast. You need to not pass go. You will not collect $200. You will go straight to jail. Slow the fuck down for this game. Play a different game. Do not make Genshin Impact your main game, okay? It needs to be a side game. That's why I play Mario Kart. That's why I play Monster Hunter. That's why I play Persona. That's why I play Hollow Knight. That's why I play other games like Among Us. This game, dude, you can run out of content in a month if you play too goddamn hard. Do what I do, literally. I haven't fit, I still do my commissions for Mondstadt. I still do them. I still do them. Even though I have tons of resin that I could do more of, I'll save it and I'll wait and I'll farm for pleasure over actual game. So, there are also a lot of really glaring issues in this game. Like, once again, how bad the weapons are. Oh, also, Spiral Abyss. Bro, this shit's been out for two weeks. Haven't even touched it. Haven't even touched it. He's like, go around doing fun shit that I make for myself rather than do this shit, okay? Slow the fuck down. 1.5 is coming. 
Rosaria's coming, so I guess I am too. But it's good. Dude, the mini games have been a nice breath of fresh air. I have been playing the fuck out of the mini games uh, for Genshin Impact, which has been great, dude. Which has been great. Also, oh, God damn, look at that one. That's a healthy girl. These have been dope. And you could say, oh, dude, but they came out and I beat them instantly. You know who didn't? Me. You slow down. You do them over and over again. A great way to make these things last longer is get, don't settle for anything less than a perfect score. It's it's good, dude. I'm telling you, it's the best way to play the game. Okay? Casually. You play the game casually. If you want a number crunch, you can, but I'm telling you this. Genshin Impact is a game that's going to get better with time. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to wait and see a beautiful game that's going to be ready in six months, maybe a year? Or do you want to burn out for a week and miss out on the entire experience and then go bitch in the forums? I'll leave that to you. Do you want to max your DPS? Do you want to do the most optimal meta shit possible? Or do you want to have fucking fun? Okay? Listen, I'll be over here having fun every day. And yes, there's issues. And I'm going to bitch about them. And I'll make an entire video on it. But you bet your ass I'm still having fun every day. And when I don't, I stop fucking playing. Regardless. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the little account checkup. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace! <laughs>